Okay, this is going to be a uh, quick review of this Nub cigar, and this is the Connecticut wrapper version. And I did a video on these last week. I got a 10 pack of them from Thompson Cigars. And what I wanted to talk about today was a couple of different ways of cutting a cigar. And um, most people know the traditional guillotine cutter, and I literally have dozens of these. This is a uh, Nat Sherman cutter, which is uh, from Nat Sherman Tobacco in New York City. They make excellent cigars. This is a really good cutter, and this would work fine when you're cutting that little cap off. Um, another way of cutting a cigar is to have a cigar scissor, and they're sold, you know, specifically for cigars, and you, you know, cut the, again, you cut the cap off with that. Um, yet another way is what's called a V cutter, which would be something like this. This is a very old antique one, but I have quite a few of these. And basically, if you look in there, it's like a V. And when you stick this cigar in, which actually in this case you would use a slightly smaller cigar, or I could go in and get a larger V cutter, it cuts in a V shape. And then again, there's um, you know a single. Uh, guillotine, which would be the one like attached to this Calibri lighter right here. But for this particular cigar, what I think I'm going to use, which is appropriate because my uh, channel is Gun Collector 007, we're going to use a bullet cigar cutter. And basically, what that is is a it's a it's a cigar punch, I should say. So basically, it is looks just like a bullet. It looks like a 44 Remington. Uh, that's what the shell is, but inside it, as you see when I undo that, is a actually razor sharp little cigar punch, they call it. And what we will do, I'm trying to do this carefully so you can see it, what we will do is you push the end into the cigar and you do like a twisting motion. So it's now in the cigar, you twist it and you withdraw it. When you do that, a little cigar will get, a uh, little cigar, a little top of the uh, cigar will get stuck, stuck in there, and you have a little punch hole. And what you like to do before you even light the cigar is to take a little draw, which is a little puff, and you can see that that's a, that's a pretty good hole. Maybe give it another little twirl to open it up just a smidgen more to get a little better draw. And pull that out. Pull out that leftover piece. And there you see the hole. Yeah, so that's a much better draw. And this is gonna be a very mild cigar. I've had uh, nub cigars before, they're very enjoyable cigars. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna light it. And when you light it, what you do is you warm the foot of the cigar and you just hold it there, hold it. It's quite windy today. It's fall. It's quite, you could probably hear the breeze in the background. You warm it, you warm it, you warm it. So you keep going in a circular motion and then you bring it up. And sometimes you gotta give it another shot. There's no thing as perfection in this. And that's a nice cigar. It's a very mild cigar, and what I'm having with this cigar is a uh, Irish cream. This one is called Savory and J James. And it's basically like a Harvey's Bristol cream. I get these free in one of my businesses, so I take a lot of stuff home and I try them out. But we'll take a little sip of that. And that's a very pleasant drink. It's a mild drink to have with a mild cigar, like this nub. Yeah, the drawer is excellent and I could see it's gonna be a good smoke. This one has the Connecticut wrapper, 
with the Nicaraguan filler on it and um, highly enjoyable, smells delicious, uh, has like little hints of chocolate, almost like a slight coffee flavor to it, very very enjoyable. So. I'm gonna sit here and smoke this cigar. I'm not gonna bore you with the whole detail. I know some people uh, asked if I could smoke a cigar all the way to the end, but I really can't imagine anyone watching me uh, smoke a cigar for 20 minutes, and uh, I wanna spare you that agony. So, but I would just tell you, it's a good cigar. I, I, won't, I don't smoke crappy cigars. There is an old saying that life is too short to smoke a crappy cigar, and I fully uh, abide by that. If you can't smoke an expensive cigar every day, smoke an expensive cigar once a month or twice a month or whatever your budget allows. But if you are new to cigars and you go to a gas station and you buy a cigar and you buy the cheap crap that they have in there, you'll never really develop a, a good love for cigars because those are not quality cigars. Sm smoke a good cigar get yourself a copy of a good cigar magazine like Cigar Aficionado or you know read online subscribe to Cigars International uh, Thompson catalog uh, so many other ones and 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 read the reviews on them and you know see what's good and and that's it excellent cigar all right thank you guys very much for watching and enjoy your day